Our emotions play a huge role in the decisions we make. I mean, often completely, often we can be completely un unaware that this is going on. There's some really interesting research which showed that when people had read um, something funny or something sad or something that made them angry, and then they were asked whether or not they trusted a colleague at work, if they had just read something happy, they were more likely to say that they would trust their colleague they've read something sad, less likely, angry, really unlikely. So our emotional state really affects our decisions. When we're stressed, we become very tunnel visioned, and when we're angry as well. Um, if we're excessively happy, um, that can make us um, not that good at actually thinking through risks in a, in a careful way. There was a study done uh, with male undergraduates where they showed them either a photo of a Victoria's Secret model or a photo of a rock and then they gave them a financial decision to make. The guys who had been looking at Victoria's Secrets models made much worse financial decisions than the ones who had been looking at a rock. So, um, you know, our state of sexual arousal, our um, emotional state, also our physical state more generally. I mean, President Clinton talks about how the worst decisions he ever made were when he hadn't had enough sleep. And the research really backs that up because if you pull an all-nighter or if you go a week sleeping maybe four or five hours a night only, it's actually as if you're making decisions when you were drunk. Um, so we have to get sleep. We've also got to eat. Um, I mean, I know this sounds a bit like things your mother would tell you to do, sleep and eat, but there's a lot of research now to actually show how important it is. There was a study done in Israel of judges uh, making parole decisions. and. The researchers wanted to understand why they granted parole or not. Was it the gender of the applicant? Was it the type of crime? Was it the ethnicity of the applicant? What was behind it? It turned out it was whether the judge had recently eaten. If you went before a judge um, at 10 a.m., just before the mid-morning snack, that was a disastrous time to go before the judge. You had 0% chance of getting granted parole. If it was just after the snack, it shot up to 65%. Just before lunch, terrible time again, dip down to 10%. Um, just after lunch, back up to 65%. So there are so many factors that are affecting our decision making that we're just so unaware of and we need to become aware of if we're going to be smarter. 